Shit, what's going on? February 23rd, 2016. Fourth episode. <sighs> Me talking more shit about these shoes. I'm Skip Jenkins. This is the Binky83 Skip Goes Hard channel. And what I want to talk about today is... Y'all know I gotta get my goddamn sips in. I want to talk about the good old days. Pretend the shoes. Now we all remember the good old days. We all remember when you can just go to the shoe store at any fucking time of the day, usually later, and you'll still have the shoe that you want in your size. You don't have to worry about making sure you, making sure you set your clock before you go to bed and so you can wake up early to get up and rush out the damn uh, house and stand in line, like you know how I said, like get up early morning and rush out the house because I've been in many, many Jordan lives and you motherfuckers breath stank like a motherfucker. I, I don't I don't understand, like, I mean, people who, who stand in these early morning Jordan lines, you know what I'm talking about. Especially like, cause you know how the Jordan release goes. Um, you get there in the morning and you're all just st you're, you're standing around and you're talking about sports and you're talking about the Jays that, that, you're, that you're here to get and you're talking about like you know Jays are gonna come out in the next week or the next month and it's early in the morning and motherfuckers did not brush their teeth and you know they didn't brush their teeth because they're, they're fucking oh oh I hate that shit like you niggas need a mint this <laughs> chew some goddamn gum black ice or whatever because y'all know what i'm talking about jordan niggas people who 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 stand out in the early in the morning to get the shoes the breath is usually funky as hell but anyway we're talking about the good old days get in the shoe you can go there in the morning um you don't have to worry about fighting people you have to go you have to worry about like making sure um you get there and you have your uh your goddamn captain america shield you know shield and shit because the people are fighting and shit's getting tossed everywhere and all that you did not worry about that and a shoe that i want to show you guys in the uh the good old days episode episode four uh would be the 2004 december 22nd 2004 it's funny, so I guess this was the, I guess like the Christmas release. Um, but damn, because I, re it's funny because, you know, like right now during Christmas, it would be like, you have your 11s, but December 22nd, 2004, these came out and they look pretty good too. For a 12 year old shoe, you can still see the 23, the little hologram in there, it's not all uh, smoked out and foggy and shit. But, um, when these shoes came out, you could call a shoe store, like in my case, I called Finish Line. And when I called Finish Line, uh, I gave them my name and I told them that I want to reserve a pair of uh, you know, the 13s that are come out, which are these right here. So I gave them a name, I gave them the num my number, um, and I don't remember if I had to like, I guess pay for it in it. No, I don't think I had to do that. I just had to call and tell them, okay, I want to reserve the pair of J's, uh, size 11. Uh, they wrote all, the, all my information down. So when the shoe came out, I walked my ass up there and I think I had to be there before either 10 or noon. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't have to worry about waking up extra early to stand in the line with a whole bunch of stank breath motherfuckers. I didn't have to do all that. Uh, I would get to the shoe store, finish line in the case, and I will just pick up the shoes that I reserved in my name. Like, do you guys remember that? Am I showing my age? I think I am, which I can give two shits, but I'm just saying, I mean, I got the J's. I got the J's that some of you niggas probably want, but y'all like, well, yeah, I mean, nigga, I didn't get the 2004 J's, but I got the ones that came out in 20. Uh, I don't remember. I mean, they released again, but and I remember all that shit that was going on when these released. I forgot when they did uh, again. And there was a whole big shit about, oh, they're not going to have the 3M on the side or whatever, which they did. I don't know why they always have like silly ass rumors and shit like that. But yeah, man, this, these look pretty good. 12 years old. Um, 
pretty spiffy in my opinion accurate opinion but yeah man these like i said the good old days when you don't have to worry about getting beat up i mean well people were still getting their asses kicked for shoes i mean that's always been going on but it wasn't that serious back then um but uh i don't know that's just that's just how it is <sighs> mm. Like I said, it is February 23rd. Yes, we know what's going to happen on Saturday. You have the Master 12s coming out. All black, which look very nice. They look good in pictures, too, because sometimes pictures do not, they don't do a shoe any justice at all. Like for me, and in my in my opinion, opinion, accurate opinion, it's usually with foams too. Like for instance, the Safari foams. In photos, they look great. And then when I saw the shoe in real life, I was like, no, <laughs> no, 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 nigga, I'm not paying two what I need fifty. I think they were either two thirty or two fifty. I'm not paying that for that shit right there. I'm not doing it. It's not gonna happen. Mm. But um, I'm sure a lot of people have, um, you know, their whole good old days, little story and shit like that. Especially with 11s, because I mean, you got some people who are older than me um, can remember when you know, like a pair of 11s will come out and they'll just go to the store, go to the store and just get them. Shit, let some fucking 11s come out now. But actually, it's better now, but you know, ever since, like, you know, when the Concourse, that fucking Planet of the Apes fucking deleted scene of this niggas going crazy, that's what, that, that's what that shit looked like. When all them niggas were going crazy, it looked like the fucking a deleted scene of the Planet of the Goddamn Apes, I'm telling you. Like, it was just, it was just stupid. Like, <laughs> shoes and goddamn bananas and shit were flying everywhere. But anyway, um, that's pretty much it. It's a short episode. Um, like I said, this is the good old days. And I got the bread 13s down there from 2004. Um, so, you know, leave a comment if you agree or have, you know, something to say about the video. Make sure you like it and go ahead and subscribe, man. Um, um, we're, we're looking pretty good in the subscriptions. Uh, we are at, I think, 30, I think 33 or 35, whatever. Hey, I'm pretty good. Because from the first video that I did the whole, like, the rebirth of my um, channel. I was at eight, and now we're in the thirties. So yeah, I'm pretty. I'm I'm pretty good. Hey, thank you guys for subscribing. Uh, even though probably half of y'all I told y'all to, or people who I know. But hey, it's all good. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, but yeah, I am Skip Jenkins. This is the Binky eighty three Skip Goes Hard channel. And you guys take care. And uh, if you want those, the Master Twelves. Uh, make sure you get up on your hustle because um, it should be, it's going to be not too crazy because they showed like the little map of all the stores that's going to get the shoe and it looked like a lot of stores are going to get it. But how many pairs? See, people don't realize that all the fucking shoes in the world can, oh, I said shoes, all the stores in the world can get the shoe, but how many pairs are they going to get? If you wear a size 11 and... The store only gets two 11s and you see how much of a size 11 feet looking ass people in the line and you didn't get there early or you didn't do the little raffle ticket. People know. It's no secret. If you've been buying J's for years like myself, you either got to do some old sneaky shit to get it or, you know, or at least have a connect. But like I said, I'm Skip Jenkins, and you guys take care, and I hope you guys get your, your Master 12s. If you don't, don't worry, because you can either try to find a reseller, or just wait for the next week, or a week and a half or two weeks, when another shoe is going to come out, like the French Blue 12s. But you guys take care. Peace.